find the vertex focus direct vertex axis of symmetry, and then graph the parabola. X minus 2 squared is equal to minus 24y plus 1. What I observe right away is that this is the equation of a parabola where the vertex is not at the origin. This vertex would be at 2 comma minus 1. Everything else about the process we've been using stays the same. I need to know a value of p. So 4 times p, this number out front, is a minus 24, and p has to be minus 6. The x's are being squared, so this problem must face down with that minus in it. So in class, we developed a chart that has a bunch of formulas in it for finding where the focus and the directrix are, but I'd like to just go on and start a picture. Just going to put a bunch of tick marks out here. And secretly in my head, I'm thinking about that focal diameter, right? The absolute value of 4p is 24. So from side to side on my parabola and the vertex, I'll have 24 total units. I'll go to the left 20, excuse me, to the left 12 and to the right 12. So I'm kind of already thinking about needing quite a few tick marks here. All right, but let's go on and plot that vertex at 2 comma minus 1. Nice happy vertex. P is how I find my focus. My parabola face is down, so I'm thinking that my focus needs to be 6 units below this vertex. So I'll just count down 6. And so there's my focus. And I go 6 units below that y value, so that's down there at minus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and minus 7. And that reminds me that what our rule was is that we take the y component there of the vertex and add those. Minus 1 plus minus 6 is minus 7. So even if I was thinking formulaically, I'll get the same thing. My directrix here is going to be a horizontal line going the other direction, that same distance. So now instead of down 6, up 6. And so that's at y is equal to 5. And so here what I'm doing is I'm taking that minus 1 and taking away that. So minus 1 minus a minus 6, I get 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Uh, vertex focus directrix, an axis of symmetry. That is a line that goes through both the focus and the vertex. And it's perpendicular to my axis of symmetry. So there it is. And I can see that runs through x is equal to 2. All right, I'm ready to graph our parabola. My focal diameter is 24, so I need to start at the vert, excuse me, I need to start at the focus and go to the right 12 and to the left 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Make sure I'm at the right horizontal level there, and I get a pretty wide parabola. And there we have the graph of a parabola whose vertex was not at the origin.